Autumn is a great time of year to get out on the river and swing streamers for trout, though the technique can be effective during any season. The technique itself is relatively simple. It starts with a cast basically perpendicular to the current. Then let the streamer sink as it drifts downstream in the current on a slack line. Go ahead and make a mend or two to help the fly sink. When the line starts to tighten up below and across from you, begin your swing across the current. Keep your rod tip out in front of the fly to lead it across the current. Short strips will give the fly more of a darting action as you swing. When the fly gets straight down below you, strip it up towards you a little ways and then repeat the process. I usually only make one or two swings through a particular piece of water and then take a couple of steps downstream and try again. Fish are usually going to hit the fly right away or they're not going to hit it at all. Takes are usually pretty obvious with a tight line between you and the fish. As you can see, it's not just brown trout that will attack a streamer in the fall months. If I'm not having any success, I'll change flies pretty quickly. Color is usually the first thing that I'll vary as the trout seem to prefer different colors on different days. Conventional wisdom would have you try light colored streamers on bright sunny days and darker streamers on cloudy overcast days. But don't be afraid to contradict this old adage. Surprisingly small fish will attack even a large streamer, but on average the meat eaters tend to be nice sized fish relative to what you'd catch using other techniques. Areas where riffles slow down into deeper pools or flats are a great place to start, but fish can be found throughout the pool, including in the tailouts. Try to set the hook with a quick strip of the line rather than immediately raising your rod over your head. Fish that miss the fly on the first bump often come back and hit it again, as did this nice brown. So you don't want to pull the fly out of reach with your hook set. Be sure to make a couple of strips up towards you after the fly has finished its swing, as fish will sometimes follow the fly across the current and hit it just when it changes direction. Occasionally, you'll get a bit of a surprise once you get the fish close enough to identify it. But more often than not, that fish on the end of your line is going to be a trout. I like to impart a little back and forth wiggle to my rod tip as I strip. I don't truly know if this results in more takes, but it does seem to give the fly more of an erratic wounded minnow action in the water. I also like to tie my fly to the leader using a non-slip loop knot, again to allow that fly as much action as possible as it swings across the current. So get out there this fall or whatever season it may be and try swinging some streamers. Most likely you'll be happy with the results. And even if the fish aren't biting, the rhythm of swing, strip, cast, swing, strip, cast can be quite pleasant. For Sweetwater Fly Shop, this is Dan Jagan.